एवरीवन आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल आई एम मनहर एंड वेलकम बैक टू एमएसएफटी वेबकास्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द स्टेप्स ऑन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल अ गेस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन हाइपरवी वर्चुअल मशीन आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग द हाइपरवी रोल एंड सेटिंग अप अ वर्चुअल मशीन्स कनेक्टिंग देम टू वर्चुअल स्विचेस एंड हार्ड ड्राइव्स इट्स टाइम टू इंस्टॉल एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑन द वर्चुअल मशीन To demonstrate this, I'm using a Windows Server 2025 machine that already has the Hyper-V role installed. In Server Manager, click on Tools and select Hyper-V Manager to open this console. In Hyper-V Manager, you'll notice that we have Hyper-V 01, which is our Hyper-V host containing the virtual machine. On this host, there is a virtual machine named Win 11 hyphen VM 01, and right here it shows that the VM is currently off. In the previous video, we created Generation 2 virtual machine on our Hyper-V host. Before we power it on, let's make sure it's set up and ready to install an operating system. To do this, I'll right-click on the VM and go to its settings. If you create a regular VM on Hyper-V and try to install Windows 11 on it, this is most likely the screen you will get to during this setup. Windows 11 has several requirements that you must enable before you can install it on Hyper-V VM. A TPM and Secure Boot are required for Windows 11. On Hyper-V, these features are only available on Gen 2 VMs, so make sure not to try installing Windows 11 on Gen 1 VM. Go to Security tab. Gen 2 VMs have UEFI, which replaces the traditional BIOS on a regular Gen 1 VMs. Among other things it allows for secure boot which is a security standard developed by member of the PC industry to help make sure that the device boot using the only software that is trusted by the OEM by default secure boot is enabled on gen 2 VMs and the microsoft windows template is selected to allow windows to be installed TPMs have been around for a while but with windows 11 it's become a requirement not just any TPM but specifically was in 2.0 make sure enable trusted platform module is selected if it's not go ahead and select it you can adjust the number of virtual processors and modify the memory size based on your physical service capacity and your specific requirements in this example i have assigned 4 gb ram to this virtual machine click on processors make sure the vm has at least two virtual processors In this example, I want to assign four virtual processors to this VM. In the final step, we need to attach the Windows 11 ISO image to this VM. But since DVD drive is not added, first we need to add the DVD drive to this virtual machine. To do that, click on SCSI controller, select DVD drive and click on add. This will attach DVD drive to this virtual machine. Choose image file option and click on browse to locate the desired ISO image. I have stored the ISO image under the folder name ISO images on a app drive. Let's access app drive and let's access ISO images. Select the Windows 11 evaluation ISO image and click open. The ISO image has been successfully mounted to the VM. The VM will now boot from the attached ISO image. Click on apply and then okay to save the changes we have made to this VM. Right click on Windows 11 VM and select settings. We are going to change the boot order. Click on firmware. I have changed the boot order in this virtual machine. The first boot will be DVD drive, the second boot will be hard drive, and the third one is network adapter. Now click on apply and okay to save the changes. Again, right click on the Windows 11 VM and this time select connect. The virtual machine is currently turned off. Click on start. Press any key on your keyboard to boot the VM from the attached ISO image and begin the Windows 11 installation. Select language settings and click next. Select the keyboard settings and then click next again. Install Windows 11 option is selected. Select this checkbox and click next to continue. Select the operating system you want to install. I'm going to select Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC evaluation. Click next. Click accept to accept the Microsoft license terms. Create a new partition or install it on the unallocated space. Since this is a virtual machine, I'm going to install it in the unallocated space. Click next to continue. Windows uses the entire unallocated space if you do not specify the size. The wizard is asking us for confirmation. 
This will install Windows 11 Enterprise LTS evaluation and if any data is present on the hard disk, it will be deleted. To continue with the installation, click on Install. The installation of Windows 11 has started. This process will take some time to complete and your VM will restart several times during the installation. Sit back and wait for the installation process to complete. So we have successfully completed Windows 11 installation in this virtual machine. That's all for this video on how to install Windows 11 guest operating system in Hyper-V virtual machine. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.